James Wanda, thank you for coming by this tasting table today. I do appreciate it. This wine is next from the producer Altemasi. This is Trento Doc. It's a fruit wine and it's a 2018 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about this beautiful, outstanding, gorgeous wine. So please subscribe to this channel and give a like. So people in the US tend to think of sparkling wine only in terms of a celebratory wine. And I often say to myself, I have to have a glass of sparkling wine, whether I'm celebrating or not, once per week. I don't think that's overextending it. Sir Winston Churchill had at least, what, one glass or up to, I understand, one bottle per day of sparkling wine, champagne, basically. As a fine producer, I'll show you on a map where they're located. It's in Trento. In Trento is in Zutiro Alto Adige. And I think it's a fantastic region. I've been lucky to put foot on ground. I was probably actually really close. I know on a map where I was and how close I was to this producer. But on my grand tour in 2016, it was hard to visit every single producer, visit every single location, and I think I visited half of Italy in just one trip. But that's my point of going back and just spending more time in Trento. And I think to you know taste the sparkling wines from this region, it is known for the sparkling wines, and it's one where it might get overshadowed, say, from Prosecco or from maybe Francia Corta. There's so many amazing wine regions in Italia and Italy, and this is one of them. I think gets so little credit and exposure in the US, you can find their wines, they are accessible, the price points are outstanding, the quality is just equally outstanding. And this is one wine that I think is absolutely fantastic. I love the bottle, and it's a nice sophisticated bottle. I think the price point is outstanding, especially for those people who, I get one of my requests obviously are for price points. People are wanting a accessible price point, especially for sparkling wine. I think when sparkling wine becomes more normalized, that is in my example of having one glass per week, which is not excessive, is I think people can really enjoy the craft and beauty of it. I think many people, maybe yourself, I think so many people are really trying to treat sparkling wine only as a special occasion or even afraid or fearful to drink it on a constant or consistent basis, once a week basis. And there has to be something to celebrate or this sense of, sense of guilt perhaps. Um, I would never have guilt for enjoying sparkling wine. So you may have the most sophisticated packaging, but not the best contents inside. The good news here is the contents are equally stunningly gorgeous and beautiful. And I think for the price point where I've seen this price in the United States, say in the 20s, now you can find this from other retailers. It depends where you are in the United States. So it will vary by region and by state. And so a $20 price point for the quality wine you're getting is pretty outstanding. So I'm going to, first of all, this is the uh, Melissa Mato 2014, meaning that this is a vintage dated wine. So this is Metodo Classico in terms of its vinification. Now, I'm also gonna just read a bit of the copy on the back here. It's good to read 100% Chardonnay. And uh, this is a region that's known for its quality sparkling wines produced in Metodo Classico undergoes a secondary fermentation in the bottle. Now this has been on the lease for three years. I can definitely think of other producers um, and I won't even specifically point out which producers they are and they could be in the United States, North America and the New World that are actually super expensive for that extra aging. So when I get this in 2021, I've had the ability to have this on the lease for three years. Now the elevation where the fruit is coming from is a high elevation, 450 to 600 meters above sea level or 1400 to 1970 feet above sea level. This is a brute wine, meaning it's a uh, six to seven grams per liter wine. So on one tech sheet it says six grams, the other says seven. It's probably, it's one of the two, but that's still, you know, I think such a handsome, beautiful wine where when I was drinking this, I thought this is, has to be extra brute if I was blind tasting it, that is. Now this is not a blind tasting, so I definitely knew because it is a brute wine that it couldn't be in the two to three grams per liter range. But uh, you know, when I think of six to seven grams per liter, it's still a very dry wine and one that has a lot of character to this. Now a bit of vinification notes on this wine. Select grapes are hand harvested, vinified in temperature controlled stainless steel with the close proximity of the vineyards to the winery. The grapes are quickly destemmed and whole berry crushed. Secondary fermentation occurs in the bottle, of course, and the wine is aged on the leaves for at least 15 months, so prior to disgorgement. So this definitely has a longer disgorgement than 15 months. So I definitely love a Blanc de Blanc wine. I think they're just elegant, beautiful. They're infinitely parable with things or to be enjoyed on their own. So let me talk first about the nose. 
passion fruit, autumnal fruit notes of apple, quince, floral, oyster shell, and uh, freshly shelled pine nut. And next is a palette characterization. So lovely, lovely dryness to the wine, full of character, and so it's not an austere wine. I think it's just completely elegant. And I, I love and enjoy the creamy texture on this wine. Notes of passion fruit, almond, biscuit, minerals from seashells. It is uh, stunningly beautiful wine, 94 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below. Questions and comments, please let us there. Seek out this wine. The quality of this wine, the price point, it's all together, and it doesn't always line up this way. Definitely seek this wine out for your Q4 events. I think it's absolutely stunningly beautiful, gorgeous, and I will be sad when this bottle is gone, but I will get another because I think it is quite fantastic. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video review, and uh, please give a like to this video, subscribe to this channel, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Now be sure to share this wine with somebody who loves sparkling wines. So I will see you back here at the tasting table. Come back for more. Salute.